So this is Ethiopia. So uh, different homonyms they uh, went through different parts of the world. For instance, Homo Neanderthals they went to the western part, and Cro-Magnon also to the north, and Homo fluorescens and they went to the eastern part of the world, and Homo sapiens idaltu they stayed in Africa, particularly in Ethiopia. So Homo Neanderthals is much more similar with the European. And Homo fluorescens is very similar with the Asian fashion. And Homo sapiens is much more African. So 75k 70, means 75,000 years. So we've got the new uh, finding, archaeological findings. It's called Homo sapiens idaltu. So the first modern human being was appeared in the world uh, before 145,000 years ago, according to the scientists. So this is the late Homo erectus. We are we already erected, so we are also considered as a Homo erectus, and as well Homo sapiens. So you can, uh, you can see the difference between the uh, Bodo or the late Homo erectus and the adult. This is the first modern human beings, the scale part, and this is the late Homo erectus. The scale part is completely different. The eye is located inside compared to this one. <clears throat> but still compared to the recent human being, the first uh, Homo sapiens or the first modern human being, the scale part is there is a little bit of difference. You can see here. <coughs> and right here, we're going to see different endemic uh, vegetations. Ethiopia. This one is it's called the false banana tree. It is one of the most popular and it's one of the staple food in the southern part of the, uh, the country. The reason why we named the false banana is it doesn't grow in the banana. We are cutting the trunk and making the bread from this from this tree. So the scientific name of this uh, tree is called Ventrucusum. Inset is the local name of this plant. So the scientific name is called Ventrucusum. Ventrucusum means a wooden plant. So if you uh, punch it with your uh, hands, lots of water will be coming from the trunk. There is no wooden stuff. So this is F. F is one of the popular and the staple food for Ethiopia, particularly in the northern part of Ethiopia. We are making injera from this grain. The grain is very tiny and it looks a little bit of similar with, uh, <coughs> with mice, but uh, it's very tiny. So we're making injera. It's like a uh, pancake, but it's a little bit uh, And this is also the nook. Nook is like this is one of the endemic oil seed for Ethiopia. And this is coffee. Ethiopia is the land of coffee. And according to the different legends, uh, there is a place called Kafa, and it's believed that the name coffee is derived from that place. Kafa is the homeland of coffee. So we've got two different species of coffee in the world, coffee arabica and coffee robusta. Coffee arabica is, we can get only in Africa. Coffee robusta is outside Africa and Middle East. So the coffee is one of the most important production for Ethiopia. 36% of the economy is based on the coffee production. So, so how did you get the name Coffee Arabia? It is from Africa. Coffee Arabic, the name they, uh, originally coffee was discovered in Ethiopia in nine in ninth century by the name by the shepherd. Actually he was Gotter. His name is Kaldi. Kaldi. But 
Ethiopians were not starting to use coffee properly by the time. So only the Yemenians traders, they started to coffee. That's why they changed the name coffee Arabica. Uh, originally was discovered in Ethiopia. But the Yemenians they started to, to trade to trade in coffee. That's why they named it. So that's why the coffee shop is named Caldas after Caldas. Yeah. Okay. Adam. 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 Adam.